and everything is blooming. In Germany, they just legalized wheat, which is fascinating because we can watch how small changes might lead to big differences. My name is a strange attractor, but everybody calls me attractor. We have now reached month of April and we are looking again at all the images that have been released as fractal calendars from Christian. Namely the years 2013, 14, 12, 22 and 23. Come with me. We start with Secret Micro City by Jeremy Brunet. Greetings from Christian to Jeremy. Jeremy is a financial mathematician that has been alongside the discovery of the Mandelbalb very early on from 2008. And he has done many videos and even has released a book in the French mathematics space. And this image is called Secret Micro City and exposes the classic fractal structures like uh, repeat, rinse and repeat in, the, in one image. So this image shows very nice reflections from a metallic uh, surface. And it is even a video that you can watch on YouTube. Secret Micro City by Jeremy Brunet. The 2013 image is called Spheres of Influence by Mark J. Brady. Mark is following the Mandelbalb um, similar to Jeremy Brunet early on from the 2008s. And he has this science fiction style where he always depicts scenes from outer worlds and spaceships. And we have him this day um, even on two calendars. Uh, we will see for the 2000. 20 calendar as well. So Mark is using the new rendering techniques and combining spheres with um, reflections and plays around with very strange camera perspectives. So this is the 2013 image. The next image is from the unreleased 2014 calendar. And the image is called Smashed Manga Box by Richard Rosenman. Richard Rosenman is an advertisement artist and he's playing around with the fractals in a very nice, playful manner in my point of view. This really looks like a box that is smashed into the ground and creating this lightning-like cracks in the surface. And it's a good example for how creative you can play around with the fractal 
techniques. And obviously this is some kind of Blender 3D, not a real fractal program. And Richard is doing video clips and for large companies doing advertisements. So this was a nice image, too sad it has never been released. The next image is from Mark J. Brady as well and is called Retro Fractal Fantasy. His signature of scientific style and science fiction scenes is really nicely visible in this image. You see this harbor for zeppelins waiting for their passengers in this highly detailed scene. Um, yeah, with sunlight coming from above and it's looking really lifelike. Very cool image. And the last image for today is Mix Pinsky Sky City by Mekaina Infinitum. And we already know Mekaina Infinitum. They are the guys developing the Unreal Engine plugins. And I hope to see more games and real-time installations for using the plugins made by Mekaina Infinitum. This scene is a really nice scene with a cloud background and a flying city in the skies. And if you look closely, you might even discover some plants and animal life. Very cool image. And yes, all of the images today were really cool. And I think I enjoyed them very much. And this finishes our April issue. As mentioned earlier, we look very interested to the changes that occur now in Germany after legalizing cannabis or weed. Why? Because the influences of such changes might be discoverable or enjoyable for many fields like paper, wood uh, and um, construction materials and um, closings which can be manufactured out of this and the relaxation of the police which might not be, uh, uh, we don't uh, comment on if it is a good thing or a bad thing, when the police has fewer work to do. So I take my hat and look for the plants and I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.